I'd like to do is uh, do a little geometry with you. Uh, first thing we need to know uh, looking at this problem is that first we have a set of parallel lines. These are lines that are never going to intersect. And then also we have a line that we call the transversal, which is intersecting these two lines. Now what we have is we have two unknowns. We have a value, uh, an angle X, and we have an angle Y that we do not know the value of them. The only angle we know is our angle um, 55 degrees right here. So there's a couple things that we should know, first of all, um, and that we've already previously learned. One thing is we know that opposite angles are equal to each other. So this angle and this angle are equal by what we call vertical angles. So any opposite angles are also equal to each other by vertical angles. The other thing we also learned is that two angles that make up a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So I can look at this and say x and 55, those add up to 180 degrees. So I can say x plus 55 equals 180. Then I'll subtract 55 on both sides, and I get x equals 125 degrees. I guess these are all degrees, right? Now, the next thing that we're going to learn for this problem is now that I can say that x equals 125 degrees. So the important part about this problem is what you notice is how are x and y related? Well, x and y are related by what we call corresponding angles. And the way that we say corresponding angles is whenever you have parallel lines and transversals, if you kind of look at this, these two angles are both in the exact same position. So therefore, they're also going to be equal. They're what we call corresponding angles. They're on, um, they're both above a parallel line, and they're both to the right of the transversal. So since they're in the exact same position, these are what we call tra uh, corresponding angles. So we could say x is equal to y. So therefore, y is equal to 125 degrees. And we'll just close. Corresponding names. 